This is the Football Radio Show Sunday Six Pack. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Six Pack where we crack open six of the tastiest stories in the NFL. Ding. Cheers. That's tasty. We're going to get to some heartbreaking finishes. We're going to get to a couple of Super Bowl rematches. No big deal. But first, let's go back to Thursday night. It was Thursday night football, an AFC East matchup. And the Bills were going back to New York to play the Jets. Rex's return to New York. And the Bills get this W22-17. to Yeah, Carlos Williams, another game, another touchdown, dude. This guy is awesome. NFL's easy. Yeah, totally easy. (laughs) And then how about that Bills defense? They were awesome, too. Four turnovers. That was the difference. They crushed the Jets, and Rex, you know, was feeling pretty stoked Oh, yeah, nothing it. personal there. Oh, yes, it was. So both teams are 5-4 <laughs> and four now, solidly in the wild card mix. Also still looking up at Tom Brady. Hey, Tom, how's it going up there? <laughs> Number five. All right, up next, there was some heartbreaking finishes in the NFL. Dave, go ahead and get it started. All right, Raven fans, we feel you. It was the Ravens going down to the Jags, 22-20. to 20. Looked like the Ravens had this thing. They got the sack on the last play. Oh, Doomerfield face mask. Brutal. Sets up a field goal attempt. Jaguars knock it through for the game winner. Wow. What a what a victory for the Jags. What a bummer for the Ravens. Yeah, and unfortunately, there was plenty more brutality to go around. <laughs> Speaking of, in Tampa, my Cowboys at the Bucks. The Bucks win this game 10 to 6. And late, Jameis is trying to dive in. He fumbles. Cowboys recover at the one. Game over. No, there's a holding <laughs> play way over here, away from the ball. The refs call it. Jameis ends up scoring. Mm, and then the man. Cowboys ensuing possession. Castle throws the bomb. Dez is in the end zone. Looks like a little push off, but there's no call. Cowboys lose on the Castle interception, and that's seven in a row, bro. Not Brutal. feeling good. Speaking of in a row, it was three in a row, and the Packers fans were letting their pack hear it as the Packers lose to the Lions 18 to 16. Really a close football game. Packers were down by eight, drive in to get that touchdown they need, but they missed the two point conversion. Game's over? No. They get the onside kick. It goes through Megatron's hands. <laughs> They've got a chance. They're in great field position. They're setting up that game winner. Mason Crosby automatic, Mason baby. Mason Crosby blows the field goal. Packers lose their third straight, bro. Wow, man. That is crazy. Hey, we want to know what games made your tasty sixer. Go ahead and subscribe to the Football Radio Show YouTube channel. Like us and comment below with what game stoked you out. Number four. All right, up next, it was the Vikings at the Raiders in the black hole. The Vikings came across the country, and they took care of business, beating the Raiders 30-14. to 14. Yeah, great performance. A couple missed field goals in this game, too. Kind of kept the Raiders in it. They were driving late. Derek Carr threw the costly interception yeah, in the end zone man. that really ended any comeback chance. And then Adrian Peterson broke off an 80-yard touchdown run, Woo! and that shut the window, bro. <laughs> Yeah, the Vikes look legit, dude. dude. Five straight wins for the Vikings. They're seven and two, alone in first place. The Raiders, on the other hand, they drop their second in a row. They fall to four and five. Number three. All right, up next, we're gonna go ahead and keep it now. The AFC West. It was the Chiefs at the Broncos, dude. And this was all Kansas City. They win twenty nine to thirteen. Yeah, man. And Peyton Manning comes into this game. All he needs is three yards to be the NFL's all-time leading passer. He got he it. got that. That's Woo! good. That's good. Unfortunately, that went with four interceptions, Ooh, that's man. Bad. He was terrible. He was ultimately benched in favor of Brock Osweiler. They were still in the game, down 22 yeah. to nothing uh, when he got benched midway through the third. Uh, Osweiler gave him a little spark, but it was too little too late. The Chiefs took advantage of all those opportunities that Peyton Manning gave them, and they get an easy win here. Yeah, and that drops the Bronco. That's two in a row. The Broncos fall to seven and two, and the Chiefs are looking up four and five, baby. Getting it going. Woo! Okay. In case you haven't uh, already, like us on Facebook and yeah. follow us on Twitter at Football R S. Do it. Number All two. Right, up next. A heartbreak to go around. <laughs> one, a little bit. One more th- little dose of heartbreak here. It was the Patriots at the Giants. This was an awesome football game. New England wins on a last-second field goal, twenty-seven to twenty-six. Woo! Yeah, this was back and forth, man. And uh, Eli led the Giants down, got the go-ahead field goal, and then just left uh, Teflon Tommy a little too much time, yep. drove him down there. Yeah. Koskowski, man, that cat was money. Hits it, and it's just like money at the bank. Pay, uh, Tom Brady actually waited till it was fourth down to really get that drive going. <laughs> Drama. Like, this bores me. I want to make this exciting. Impressive, man. Did just enough to get it done, and they are still undefeated. Dude. Yep. And Matt Peske really likes ODB shoes. <laughs> They were good, cool. Good they call, awesome. good call. Yeah, that's 9-0 and for the wow. Patriots. They dropped the Giants to 5-5. Five and five. 
number All right, one. man. There was some awesome fantasy domination on Sunday. Dave, what about Bob? <laughs> Nobody cares about Bob, Casey. Whoa. It was Kirk Cousins <laughs> for the me. Redskins starting quarterback. 324 yards, four touchdowns. They got it going in a huge way. Kirk Cousins. Yeah, and then Langford, dude. Is he going to Wally Pip uh, Matt Forte? They're wow. doing almost 200 yards and two touchdowns. That's two huge games in a row, man. Yeah, and the Steelers started off with a backup quarterback. They went to their backup backup. That was uh, none other than Big Ben. That made Antonio Brown's day skyrocket. He had a huge day, 139 yards, two touchdowns, and also, eh, tack on a two-point conversion. Another huge day for Antonio Dude, Brown. Dude, in PPR leagues, that's like 80 points for him the last couple of weeks. He's and up. Zach Miller, bro, had the touchdown last week against your Chargers. Ouch. Yeah, two more today, dude. This guy is gronking over 100 yards as well, man. No doubt, dude. Awesome performances. Some great action today, but that is actually going to do it for this episode of the Sunday Six Pack. Go ahead and check out the Trend Zone, the game plan, and three and out. It's all there waiting for you at footballradioshow.com. He's Dave. I'm Casey. We're out of here.